talk, shop, pop, movies. Ahoy there, this is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile, and if you're a Convicted Cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. On my channel, I like to talk, shop, and pop, open that is, movies and physical media. And it's been a while since I've done a video, because I've been, you know, many reasons. Let's just say I felt like doing something, and I thought I would do what most people who watch videos like this want to see and answer the question, SHOW ME WHAT YOU GOT! So I intend to do that. I got a lot of family stuff lately. I'm not a, I mean, I have a kid, so it makes sense. Not, you know, huge important releases or anything of that nature. But I recently picked up, separately, <laughs> oddly enough, Hotel Transylvania 2 and 3 with the slips, which was nice. And uh, I already have the first one. All three of them have the slips, so that's cool. Not that I would care if they didn't, but... It helps when you're buying them. But yeah, I got these at uh, Half Price Books and Goodwill. So, you know, a movie that's not on Disney Plus for kids, which is why I get these. I don't often buy Disney movies anymore. They're funny. They're funny movies. Another funny animated movie, which I've always liked, that I don't own for some reason, is the Lego Batman movie. This movie's hilarious. It's probably as funny as the original Lego movie. But if you like Batman, you'll probably like it a little bit more for that reason. Uh, but yeah. All of these had, like, working digital codes, too, which is great, considering how old they are. Another kid's film I bought recently was the Peanuts movie. My kid has had a Snoopy uh, kick within the last year or so, so we watched this a couple of times, and he liked it, so I figured I'd grab it for him at the Goodwill. Why the hell not? Once again, it had a working digital copy, too, and the slip, so that was cool. And a friend of mine actually worked on that movie, so that's cool. He worked for Blue Sky for a while. Here's a movie I found at Half Price Books that I don't think I ever shared on my Instagram, even. I almost bought it a couple times I went there because it looks so goddamn stupid. <laughs> but I just couldn't justify it. They were wanting to charge like $9 for it and it was like $10 brand new. But then I found it on the clearance shelf for three bucks. So I was like, okay, I'll get it. Um, <laughs> I've never seen it or heard of it until I saw this Blu-ray. It's called Baby Secret of the Lost Legend. So it's like, Rip-off, direct-to-video, Jurassic Park 90s garbage, starring Sean Young, so you know it's good. But yeah, this just looks so stupid. I had to get it, and for three bucks, why not? It's a cross between Raiders of the Lost Ark and E.T. You think it'd be like a cross between Jurassic Park and no money. It was just too stupid not to buy. And then I got, you know, the usual thing that everyone bought last week. I went for the Walmart slipcover, which... Even this was surprisingly hard to find for a lot of people. Mine was buried behind all the regular slipcovers. So I almost went, oh, they don't have it, and left. But then I was like, no, you should check, because they had a hundred copies on the shelf, surprisingly enough. And about, you know, 20 copies deep were all of these. So glad I uh, stuck it out and checked. But yeah, this slipcover looks great. I like it way more than the standard one, which is, you know, the, this here. The Target one I thought looked kind of cool, but I didn't like it that much. I would have gotten it if I didn't find this one. And as we all know who don't have it, the Steelbook is like impossible to find because of assholes who like to buy four of them and then sell them. But speaking of the MCU, I never bought all the Phase 3 movies because I double dipped on the first two phases. I bought all the Phase 1 movies and then eventually got the set. And then same thing for Phase 2, except for at least that set was a gift. But... For Phase 3, I was like, no, I'm not going to buy any of these movies, and I'll just wait for the Blu-ray or 4K set, whatever the hell it is, and I'll get that. And then they didn't make one, really. <laughs> they made, like, the Infinity Saga 4K thing on Amazon, which I didn't even know came out until years later. Honestly, I probably would have bought that if I knew it existed. So, yeah, I was just like, okay, I guess I'll just get these one at a time. Like, I didn't... There was no urgency for me because of it being on Disney Plus and Netflix, depending on what year it was. But now I want to go back and get them all, because I like them all a lot, because I'm a dork. But I want to try to get the cooler versions of them. I'm not going to go spend $100 on a steelbook for a movie I can watch on Disney Plus. But I want to try to get these Target exclusive ones back when they made them well. So this is Endgame. And this thing is awesome. Thanos up there. I'm, I'll take a digi book like this 
over a steel book pretty much any day. So there is the inside flaps. And it opens yet again. So there are all the discs. Keep getting notifications on my phone. So it's a Blu-ray 4K with a special features Blu-ray as well. And then it's got the book, which I for some reason thought was not open, but it just is. But yeah, so it's got the little look back at the MCU booklet in there. And this is in fantastic condition. I got it at half price books for a reasonable amount, considering it was just there waiting for me. I want to get the Infinity War that matches this. I found one at a different half price books like two days prior, but it was a little more beat up than I would want. If I can get it in this shape, I'll pay a reasonable price for it because even now on sale, they're like 20 bucks for without a slip on 4K. So if I can get a uh, much better version of it for a similar price, I will do that. And then the hot ticket of the week for most people, I did get the Cabin in the Woods 4K Steelbook. This thing is awesome. And this movie is fantastic. I love this movie. I like the back of it a lot. Like the elevator, all the monsters in there. I thought that was really cool. But yeah, take the slip off. Take the grid slip. And then you got the, the guys. Brad, uh, I can't think of his name. Richard Jenkins and Bradley Whitford. There we go. Both fantastic character actors in their own right. And then it's a two-disc Blu-ray 4K combo with some cool looking artwork under it as well. I'll just take out one of the discs so you can see. Give you the gist if you haven't seen this thing. I'm sure anyone watching this already bought it, honestly. <laughs> but there you go. If I can get not a glare. But you know, some nice family friendly artwork. And last but not least, I have a uh, unboxing of sorts. And this is Royal Mail. I did my first official import ever from Aero Video. Kind of wish I hadn't because people who bought it from other places seem to have been getting their things sooner than me. But whatever, at least I'm going to get it. I ordered two things. This is one. The other I will do a separate video on and it's coming in a couple of days. I figured if I'm buying something and I'm going to be charged whatever to ship it, I'll get a couple things because the shipping was the same. I grabbed a 4K because I don't have a region free player. And if I do, I probably won't because then I'll just end up buying even more crap. Uh, <laughs> that's dangerous. I grabbed Battle Royale, which I haven't seen, but I've heard, you know, a million things about over the years. I would have considered getting the set, but the second and third one or whatever the sequels are, are not in 4K. I figured I'll just get the original one in 4K. It was a good price. It looks cool. So I grabbed that. Once again, nice family... Family films. You know what? I'm just going to open this now. Exclusive unboxing of a movie that's been out for like at least a year or two. Only here. On the Convicted Cinephile channel. It's got the J card. As a, Oh, that's cool. I'll flop that open. So there's all the chitlins. And, uh, oh, it comes out the bottom. Okay. So that's a cool slip box. I like that. It's, it's very Vinegar Syndrome-y, this style of box. So there's the Battle Royale. So it's two 4K discs, and it's two different cuts. So it's got an original theatrical cut, and then a special edition director's cut on the second disc. So that's awesome, and it looks like it's in great shape. And a little booklet. Let's just peek at it for fun. I'm already recording it. Why the hell not, right? So there's that. It's not like a hardbound thing. It's just like a little pamphlet, but it's cool. It's got footage. I'll watch this with the four-year-old, you know, soon, because he'll like it. Yeah, it's like I was always like a not a huge fan of like the Hunger Games franchise. I thought the first one was okay, and then they just got worse and worse and worse as they went on. Basically, the last one I couldn't even stand. But that's cool. I like how the case it's hollow on the bottom until you grab it off the shelf and move it too fast, and it flings into the wall across the way. But yeah. There it is. All the various features. And the other thing I got is probably pretty obvious because it's a UK only release that comes out this week. 
but I should be getting it in a couple of days and I will show it off then. So there's the stuff I've bought recently. Not a ton. I'm honestly going to be buying a lot less soon because my car took a shit on me and I ended up having to get a new car, which, you know, is nice, but it's about twice as much as my old car every month. So, uh, may not be buying, uh, very many things in the future. It'll be a lot of, uh, thrifting and half price books and goodwill finds at best, give or take a pre-order or two. But I figured I'd at least give you one last first episode of Show Me What You Got! Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Talk. Shop. Pop. Movies.